All right. I believe we are live. All right. Awesome. Hello, Yasmin. How are you doing? Welcome. Happy Friday. So I was going to show a few examples of things that I have done with the painted papers. So this is uh, an eight by eight inch uh, canvas that I just painted with matte black. And then this is, I cut this out from the painted papers. Doing pretty good. Still staying home and just staying busy. And then this at back at Christmas time was one of the ones I did. So I painted an eight by 10 inch canvas gold. And then I put this over the top of it. And this is again, one of the painted papers cut with the Cricut machine. Then I have here, uh, a bunch of ones that were cut with the Cricut and I've collaged them on. So I just wanted to show some examples of what I've done. Uh, also, here's this one. And there are the papers again painted. So those are just some examples. Now I'm going to set those aside. Ah. So here's one we were working on last week. And so here is, I've cut out all these and they're just sitting on here for now. But I, I want to frame these in a, um, here I'm going to show you and I'm going to put all those, glue all those on here in just a moment. So here's some of them just collaged together. And this is about an eight and a half by 11 cardstock. So we need to cut this down. So I have this big guillotine. I'm going to cut it down to an eight by 10. Could we want it an exact 10 inches here? And then we're going to go ahead and glue on all the pieces. So we're going to cut off just a little bit on this to square it up. Then we're going to turn it all the way around and do eight inches from here, just so we get squared up on both sides there. All right, so now we have a perfect eight by 10 to not start collaging on. We cut with the big old scary guillotine. All right, so now we have an eight by 10 cutting off all the edges. Hey, H7, how are you doing? So, all right, now I'm gonna get my handy dandy coffee, or it's, I think it's a top to a coffee or an oatmeal or something. Hey, Dina, how are you doing? So I just showed a bunch of examples of paintings I've done with the collage work. And then this one's my favorite. So those are just some examples of things I've done. And this one I'm going to put into a uh, floating frame. So we've cut it down to an 8 by 10. Now I'm going to actually start to move these as best I can. <laughs> okay, I'll move that many. And now I'm going to go ahead. I've got these here. You 
getting excited for moving out. Oh, I bet. That is awesome. Congratulations. So I cut these out on my Cricut and it has just a few little pieces that are extra little. So I'm just trimming up those pieces just real quick. And then I'm going to glue the octopus down. All right. So now and what I'm using for my glue or whatever is I'm using the uh, matte medium, which I have it all over my hands. <laughs> so that's uh, what I'm using here. I'm just putting a little here. Oh, yeah. For the rest of the school year. Yeah, ours closed, um, gosh, a good month ago for the rest of the school year. Ah, uh, so yeah, we've we've been doing online schooling, which um we've homeschooled before, and we've done online schooling before. It's been a few years, but uh, now they're high school age, so this is a much different. Uh, it's much different now. So we're gonna put this down because it's got a lot of moving. In just a minute, we're gonna work down here in the coral. So what I've done is I've cut out kind of like a, a piece here in the corner to give it a little bit of color for everything to kind of stand out a little bit more. Yeah, our um, stay at home order was extended by the governor. So um, to the end of May, but they've closed public schools down for the year that was announced. Uh, about a month ago, I think. So I'm just kind of like it's a piece of coral kind of on the bottom. And then I cut out kind of another little one because the colors weren't, I wanted something a little bit brighter for, for everything to kind of stand out. Very windy there. Uh, caught a huge branch falling from a tree. Oh, yes, very lucky it didn't. Oh, wow. So you got that on uh, the video, maybe on the motion detector. Mike is a weather nerd. He loves weather and, but definitely, you know, don't want it damaging him, but he likes to just witness and watch the weather and uh, watch weather videos. Minta shock viewers, it's like one of those shock view shows. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, you posted on Facebook. I'm still having, I can I can get on Facebook. I can access my Facebook, but then I can't um, get into Messenger. When I go into Messenger, it says, uh, what exactly does it say, Mike? It says something about you, you're logged out. Your time, login timed out, and then it, it just, it won't, it won't do it. Maybe I'll try to do it here. In a, oh, I got to cut this, trim this one. See, there's little bits I have to trim. I almost tried to just put it down. Uh, yours has been extended to May 15th there. Uh, and that's for the whole state, for New York. Um, because I hear um, it's kind of like that in Washington, but certain, you know, areas, of course, have it way worse than other areas. So um, I hope your area is still doing OK, because I know um, a couple of weeks ago you said your area was doing all right compared to the rest of New York. Because, woo, New York's parts of New York is super scary. All right, now I probably need just a little bit more of that stuff to kind of, so I put those colors um, down here in the corner just to kind of make that stand out a little more. No, it's on, it's on mobile. I'm using mobile. Here, I'll try to do it. See, that's the problem is I don't know my login on the, I, I was already logged in on the phone. But, um, yeah, it's just not working. So these were cut out. You know, I cut out these just by hand, of course. And then this other stuff was cut out by the cricket. Hey, Mr. Doughboy, how are you doing? 
Thank you. Thank you. I know I need to write down passwords. I, I, I think of these unique passwords and then I don't write them down and then I can't figure out logging back in. So, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, I can get on Facebook, but I can't get on to Messenger. It won't let me into the actual Messenger. So I'm just going to layer up some of these um, like coral pieces is what it's kind of going to look like. And then we're going to put the, um, the, uh, what's your, the octopus down. And then this will get put eventually when I when everything opens back up and I can get out and about. I want to get some of those floating frames. So I've got a whole bunch of these coral pieces I'm going to kind of just. And then we're going to do some other ones I'm going to do. Up to 95 in your county. Our county here in Washington is up to 353, I believe, just in our county. Our zip code, just our zip code has 70, I believe. But our county is up to 393, I think, was or 353, I mean. So there's like another piece of kind of layered up coral. And um, We're going to have to get a little bit more of that matte medium out. These are very delicate like pieces, but that Cricut cuts it very nicely. Very delicate, wispy pieces. You know, I wasn't sure. Yeah, text file for your passwords. I need to. I need to. I, I always have an issue. You haven't uh, messed with your car since the other day? Only 15 in your county. Wow, good job. That's awesome. So your county is the size of Rhode Island. Um, Clark County, Washington, I think, is a pretty large county. I don't know the actual size, but um, it's, it's a pretty large county. Let me get some more of this map. And then we're going to put this one kind of coming up maybe over here. And then we got this one. We'll put, maybe we'll actually kind of slip this one since it's not all the way down yet. We can kind of pick it back up. You got a few minutes where you can kind of mess with it. We'll kind of slip that one kind of uh, under, kind of tucked with that one. Whoops, it slipped its way out. And we're in Clark County, uh, Washington. It's just over the bridge from Portland, Oregon. So it's a pretty big county, 488,000. So, I mean, it's a large county. Um, so 300, I mean, when you look at the size of the county and then 353, 353 or 359, I can't remember. So, I mean, yeah, when you look at, but it's still scary. We're still staying home and everything because our, our stay at home got extended. So anyways, I think that's probably enough. And then we have this guy and we do have this, um, this little whale guy up here. He's nice and bright color. I want to get him in there because I like the nice bright and then I think we'll go ahead and get Mr. Octopus or Miss Octopus, I don't know, down. And this cut out on the cricket really nicely as well. And that a cricket is a die cutting machine that you have software and you hook it up to your computer and you can cut out all kinds. You can cut out 
papers and even like my machine is just the Cricut Explorer Air 2. Um, they do have like a Cricut Maker where you can cut out like leather and um, really, really thin uh, metals and things like that. Mine cuts like um, paper and cardstock and these painted papers and it cuts lots of things like that, um, but not much thicker than uh, maybe real, real, real thin chipboard. <laughs> All right, so I think um, what I want to do with this one is I'm going to set this one aside and I think we're going to let this one dry. And then uh, I think it would be fun to kind of doodle in a little bit more coral, but um, with either paint or a paint pen or a fine liner or something. But I think this is enough for the painted papers. I think I'll um, just maybe doodle in a little bit more coral. But yeah, so this one's done. And then I'm going to go ahead and when I, I'm going to paint up this edge and clean up this edge a little bit. But uh, then that's about it. No, Mike, that's fine. I know. You've got jokes for days. <laughs> no need to apologize. Silly. But okay, so this is just kind of a few layers and maybe on another live stream, we'll work on more layers of no more painted papers, but the doodling. I could always do that on a live stream. And then here's an example I did and I'm going to cut it down to an eight by 10 at some point. And it's just more of a simpler landscape. I've thought about doing some like deciduous trees in there. Oh, gosh, Mike. <laughs> so um, then I want to go ahead <coughs> and I want to get another one put together. And then I am going to do um, a couple more collages here. So and then I go and cough right after that. <laughs> so I want to put this down here. And then this one here is kind of going to be like the river. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And now we're going to get some sky. Let's cut. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move this aside, the glue portion. So here is, I'm going to cut off the sky here to... Okay. Thank you. Uh, I've got so many ideas for these. And these are just the fluid acrylic painted papers like I did on this morning's live stream. And uh, you don't have to have a Cricut. We're going to do a bunch of them just freehand. Uh, I also took, I have that guillotine cutter. And then I have one of the just, you know, little um, tiny um, cutters, too. And you can just cut strips and do all kinds of fun things with these. I've got so many plans with these strips. But um, so there's just, I mean, so many ideas. The ideas are, possibilities are endless. All right. So we're going to put this down as the... And then this here, I kind of want to find some more blue, some more blue in the sky. Let me find another because I've got tons of these papers. Look in my little stash. Here's some more. I have that almost looks like more water blue, not sky blue. Like this one here, I just ran across this one. Um, I want to paint a um, uh, uh, peacock feather across the top of this. I was thinking about doing the peacock feather in all metallics. I might. Um, I have 
a Cricut Explore Air 2. And then I have like the original, not, um, I have the um, Big Cuts, Sizzix Big, Big Shot. That's what it's called. Sizzix Big Shot. I have that as well, but that's way old school, like 1990s. Doesn't even take, um, oh, here's one that would be good, Sky. And there's, um, uh, obviously, I've cut um, big, oh, what are these leaves? Caldera leaves or whatever. I can't remember what they're called. But maybe we'll do strips of that. Yeah, we're going to do a stew. Do you use your Cricut? Do you use your original one? I'm using mine more and more and more. I, it took a little bit of time to get used to um, kind of just the uh, um, software. The Cricut, I can't think of what the, just the software. But now I'm getting used to the software. It's a little bit easier. So I'm cutting just some of the edges off here. And then I'm going to cut a little bit of this one off. So I was thinking something like that. And I'll clean up the edge here where it's not quite... Um, painted I can just paint a little something or just put something there but um I also had this strip here down here the other day but yeah I was just messing around with all kinds of different possibilities something kind of like that So you can, with freehand, do it, you know, all kinds of possibilities. Then I also was working on, wants you to make a sign for her um, with vinyl. I haven't done too much with vinyl. Now, the reason I haven't done too much with vinyl is because, um, I uh, I can't. I was gonna do the, originally what I got my machine with for is to do vinyl signs and or vinyl like wording and stuff and add it to the. Um, so here's another one, another one I was working on, um, but uh, I cannot get vinyl to stick to the paint pores. I but I figured out somebody was telling me I have the wrong kind of vinyl or something like that. So I'm just showing examples of some of the stuff. Um, I actually have done this on, this was all cut out on a different live stream, all these. Now I'm going to do a kind of a quirky owl here in just a second. But I want to do one where it's just a whole bunch of layers of uh, like how bunch more houses. I'm just showing examples. Uh, hey, foraging seeker, how are you doing? How are you? All right. So now I want to do, I'm just showing examples here. I'm not going to glue those down, but now I'm going to do one a little bit different here. This one we did glue down on today on this live stream. Glued a bunch of layers there. It makes you think of Zoe De Chanel. Yeah. Yeah. How's your garden growing, uh, Seeker? Uh, our stuff is finally popping up. 
So here's the kind of the background. So here's the background. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do this upside down. This is going to be, but it's just going to be kind of like a quirky, funny owl looking thing, like thing. So I'm going to do kind of like a um, the head first. And the head is going to be kind of like a rounded rectangle. So we want it about, and it's going to, you guys won't be able to see the, maybe if I, I'll try to do it with this and cut around. So here's. I wonder if that, no, I'm stuck with that. See, I need to use pencil because I'm stuck with that shape. I wanted to do a little less, I'll, I'll round the edges off. Oh, I'll be right back. All right, no worries. I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter than what I drew. I think it's a little bit too wide, but that's okay. That was just a basic. So I think this is going to need a few layers. So we're going to do one layer here. So this is kind of like a quirky owl, the, the um, head. Now let me find a good color for the body. Um, can I use this? Yeah, that might be really pretty actually. Okay, so this is gonna be for the body. Now I need to turn it up, turn it around so. The cheater starts. Ah, uh, another bunch arrived. Cukes, uh, beans, peas, and more. What do you mean by the cheater starts? <laughs> but we, um, our starts are finally popping up. We were using some older seeds, so I think it took a few extra days. But I was getting a little bit concerned almost. But it, um, we have. Kale, spinach, cucumbers, carrots, eggplant, peppers. Am I forgetting anything? Um, some basil, some thyme, um, dill, chives, garlic. I think that's everything we have going right now. So now this is going to be kind of a... Um, like the bottom of the owl. Okay, now I'm gonna cut that out. But yeah, our our um all of our seeds are finally popping up real nice for us. So we're quite excited. All right, now let's see how this is looking. I've got that um, matte medium all over my hands. So kind of the body of the owl, the head of the owl. And honestly, I wonder if I have a lighter color. I think the background needs to be lighter so that pops off there. Let me see. We're going to find a little bit lighter colored background. Going through all of my, I wish this one was more of, of, you know, it's not, it's only, we'll see what it just looks like. So, so yeah, you don't really, we need more, that's a good colors, but we would need more of it. Uh, let's see if we have one of those similar colors or. I'm just looking through all the, I don't know if you guys remember, I'll have to finish these ones up and do the detail in the, we've got a couple of these ones. Oh, 
Oh, you're getting behind. You're starting your seeds soon. Uh, most of the areas are clear of blackberries. Oh, you're, you're doing the grow bags. That's awesome. Yeah, I was looking at the grow bags. Um, I was actually looking at some DIY how to make the grow bags. This one would almost be a lighter, nicer background, but it's too bad it's honestly going this direction, the flow, but I wonder if it really matters. Let's look at how this one would look. I'm a newbie. No, 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 Forging Seeker. I'm a total noob too. Total noob. We're learning. We're doing the best we can. Uh, but we, and the problem is, is we have such a small space to work with and we can only contain our garden. So we are, um, totally trying to contain our garden. Grow some bagels. How do you grow bagels? Enlighten me there. So I think I'm going to cut out a couple of eyes here in this bright color. This would almost look like a nice background, too. I mean, maybe I should leave that as the background. But this is kind of like the owl, like a quirky off-the-wall owl. Maybe the eyes should be this funky. The beak should be this. Let's do a, I'm going to cut out a um, kind of a um, triangular beak here. Okay, so the beak is going to be from this here. Grow some bagels. <laughs> um, you have a video, probably the video I watched. I watched a DIY grow bag video. It's probably the same one. Hey, Stacy, artsy fartsy lover. Um, just showing a couple of these uh, collages with the painted papers. Doing kind of a quirky owl here right now. Having terrible. I've got sometimes it's much easier just to cut the piece off of there, and then you're able to kind of maneuver it and cut it a little bit easier. All right, so. Oh, it doesn't quite show up as, maybe I need a little bit more of the brighter part. I might need to cut out another beak out of more of the bright. See, I guess I picked the most darkest spot on that. Because that beak does not show up very well. I think we need a little bit a darker, I mean a brighter colored beak. But we can save this beak for another one, for a contrasting one. We're going to do over here in this brighter, see how much a difference on the same piece of paper. But over here, we got some more of the pink and brighter one. So we're going to just cut out the same kind of shape. Well, if I looked up retracted message. Okay, now we're going to cut out this beak over here in the brighter so it kind of will show up here for us but beaks are typically brighter yeah i they seem to be well this is nothing that's typical owl though this is a very quirky non-typical owl here I'm just flying from the seat of my pants, just kind of, we're just going to kind of make it look. And then this is just the first layer. It'll eventually need to be, um, it'll need a, some paint or something to kind of make it uh, some of the, I don't know, I'll draw in some feathers and gifts, give it mixed media, another layer, some more layers and layers and layers. They're pretty 70s colors, aren't they? Yeah, a little quirky 70s bird, huh? All right. Now, now we need we need some more brighter ones. Maybe we'll, we will use this more for the eyes. 
So now, because I think that would show up nicely on there. We're going to do some like kind of oval eyes. Quirky bird eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to do... Oh, that eye got way bigger. Got to me make these somewhat symmetrical. They don't have to be perfect, but gosh, that eye got way bigger on the second round. So I'm just going to cut this out of the piece of paper, and then it's easier to maneuver in these little tiny scissors. You have the song from my last upload in your head? <laughs> All right, awesome. So let me see the size here. Yeah, that's probably a pretty good size. Just really random um, whimsy. It's a whims, not a quirky bird. It's a whimsical bird. Let's say that. I've got a bunch of videos um, coming out with that three theme, three different ways of doing like the, the um, beach thing was three different ways. I'm going to do a bunch of ones three different ways, but the same kind of similar. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. You, uh, so much better. Right now I'm not painting, so it's a little bit easier, and I, I have the chat, like, right in front of me. It's really hard when uh, you've got the chat uh, when I'm turned and painting, but um, it is a little bit easier right now because I have the chat just right here in front of me. But no, you, and sometimes it confuses me. <laughs> I go onto yours, and I don't realize it's like a pre-recorded video sometimes. It's kind of funny. Let's see how similar in size. We may need to we'll kind of trim that one up a little. We got it. For some reason, I want one eye larger than the other. I keep trying to. But they don't have to be exact, but, you know, somewhat similar. So here's we've got. I'm just trying to give you kind of somewhat of an idea of what you can do. So then I would, what I would do is I would kind of draw in more of like, if, oh, I do have a black Sharpie here. I'll show you actually. Um, maybe a drawing kind of like a pupil. I have to get a better Sharpie. This one's kind of, uh, when you call that employment, it's like, we are sorry. And it hangs up on you. Oh my gosh. So annoying. So then I would put, uh, after I glued them down, I would put some, you know, just to kind of, I know, owl, I don't even know. Owls probably do not have eyelashes. I do not honestly know. But we're going to go ahead and make it a quirky, fun owl. <laughs> and we'll probably draw some fun, you know, stuff on him. Uh, whimsical owl. I keep saying quirky, but why? we're whimsical owl. Okay, now I'm going to get a different color. And it's going to be, actually, don't we have it under here? Hey, this would be a fun one. I'm going to do this, the um, kind of a um, wings kind of, sort of. So he's going to have two wings. So he needs it kind of, uh, it's hard to do this upside down. So bear with me. We're just going to do them um, cut right down the middle and have them the two wings. So here's the middle. We're going to go. It's not easy to do these curves uh, upside down. Okay. So we're going to cut two wings right out of the middle there. Thank you. 
I just wanted to show a little bit of what I've been working on with these um, painted papers. They're just so fun and the possibilities are endless. I, I may or may not go live later in the weekend and show you some more things I'm doing with them. So these are going to be wings here. Just some kind of wings kind of tucked up beside the owl. Now I'm just going to cut down the center and make them into two and show you here. Oh, we might have to cut them down. I might have, oh no, I guess that'll probably work. Kind of tuck it tilted maybe. I like this wing shape more. I'm going to cut the bend a little more. Yeah, I like this one too. I'm going to cut out something um, more like uh, aquatic uh, marine life with the other. I've got another piece of it. I think that kind of looks a little bit better. But yeah, this is kind of just an example. And then, of course, we got to give him some feet or something. But let me see if I can give him some feet. Unfortunately, this Sharpie is not. It's like running out. So I'll have to go over this with paint or something soon. But yeah, that's kind of an idea of what I was talking about for a whimsical owl. And I want to do a whole bunch of them. I'm not going to glue this down right now because I think I might actually um, paint a background or I have a paper that I have painted, but see, I, this one I did just, um, just acrylic. It's not one of the painted papers. It almost would look better. You know, it stands out more. So I'm not going to glue him down just yet. I kind of think he needs a different paper. See what I mean? It, it stands out more on something like that. But I will probably make another owl because I already made the little feet. But I'm going to finish the background here and glue this down all on this. And then uh, I think that we'll do another owl here in lighter colors. Let's see if I can find some lighter colors. See, like do it with some light. Or even like some of the contrasting colors. Yeah, a little bit of alcohol to the Sharpie. I, I should. I that's that's this one is just perfect to go ahead and bring back that way. But yeah, yeah, so those are just some examples of the possibilities are absolutely endless with this, though. Then add some stamping and some stencils and some doodling and all kinds of stuff. Then I also wanted to show you. Where are the papers that I cut down for this? Stacy, were you here? I had done this one as well just here at the early. I actually glued it down finally. Um, I know I had placed them here another live stream, but I actually glued it down finally. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use this paper to show you. I had cut down some smaller papers. 
I've got so many papers in front of me, it's hard to find. I had cut some down in these colors because I was going to show you. I cut them down to 8 by 10, but... But anyway, so I, I've got all these things and I am all these uh, sheets. I'm going to weave some of them. I think it would be super, super fun. And I've cut them down in different. Um, some of them are one inch. Some of them are two inch. And I think it would be super fun to weave some of these, you know. The aquamarine one, I have so many. So, but yeah, yeah, I cut them down into different varying sizes. I thought that would be super fun to. And then I thought these would be fun for like card backgrounds to the base of a card, a greeting card. You can pull them and adjust them, kind of pull a little bit of different contrasting color. And this is also a great idea if you have canvases you don't really like. You can cut the canvases off the frames and weave in. And then you can use this as just like art as is. You can use this as a background. And there's so many possibilities. But... Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show some of the things that you can do with these painted papers. Besides, you know, of course, you know, making the pendants and the jewelry and and it works a little better if they're like totally contrasting, but I just wanted to show you a little bit. Uh these ones are super fun. I've got a plan for. Because even if you're not going to weave them. So there's like an idea for weaving them. So here's the same. The, it's just the cut from the same piece of paper. You could take it and just place it. Like rearrange the. What I was thinking about. Is taking a piece of gold cardstock. Or painting a piece gold. I paint on the um, photo paper, so it's the, the shiny side of the photo paper, but um, that's what I've gotten to work best for me that doesn't uh, buckle up and doesn't, it, uh, it dries nice and flat like this. You can see these are all very flat. So see how this is the same piece of paper, and you're not like really like... Um, you're just changing the way, it, you know, the direction of the colors and just gives it more interest. I thought about doing that and just cutting some up and putting them in a different order. They look really just nice even that way. Wouldn't that look nice? And then putting a photo frame, just the same piece of paper cut into strips and then rearranged a little. Kind of makes it more interesting to the eye. And then what I was saying is either to get a piece of gold cardstock or to get um, paint a piece gold and just leave like a, you know, pull them, so leave like just like a quarter of an inch little strip between. See, that's why I brought out the piece of, because I wanted to show what looking, you know, underneath would be not white. But if you leave just like a quarter inch strip. That's another idea to kind of give it, break it up a little bit. But I mean, the ideas are absolutely endless and that's without having a cricket. This is just cutting strips. You can cut it just by hand, you know, with just a ruler and a pencil and cut it. Um, scissors, of course, but, or you can cut it with these, one of these old school things, 
or then these were cut more a little bit quicker with the guillotine. I have um, just a regular old guillotine. One of these big old guys, you know, where it, that sort of thing. <laughs> That's what those strips were cut with. So, yeah. What, what was the comment? Do I keep repeating it? What do you mean? I must not be aware because <laughs> I wasn't sure what you were saying. So I must not be aware. But yeah, I think gold would look nice under here where the strips were. So it would be a gold base and then just space them out evenly a quarter inch. And really make this pop. No, everybody is copying me. No. Uh, yeah, just give me credit. I, I just, I want to inspire people. It's not about copying each other or anything. It's just about inspiring each other and then making it, you know, each our own little, you know, our own from this. But then you can even add layers if you want to add, throw mermaid or, you know, but I kind of like the simplicity. I kind of like just the simplicity of it. Yep, the possibilities are endless, for sure. Is that what I keep repeating? <laughs> I don't know. I repeat myself all the time. I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. And I want to do, like, whimsical fairy houses, fairy gardens, too, using the paper as a base. Uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, you had said the possibilities are endless. Yeah, you had commented on the last video. Yes, I saw that. Yeah, the white background really makes it kind of pop. So you can, you know, alternate and use, say you want to, you know, use different colors and break it up, you know, and you can put other colors in there too. Or it just looks really nice, just the same piece piece of paper but just broken up into uh other areas but yeah it's kind of fun yeah i just i i think it but it truly are the possibilities truly are endless with this the possibilities are endless with so much so many things so, uh, on, I'll be back live, hopefully sometime during the weekend. I would like to do a live stream sometime during the weekend, but I can't promise. I'm not going to promise, but for sure, I'll be back live on Tuesday morning. So on Tuesday morning, I'm going to show, I'll show a couple of the pieces that I've already glued and the progress and stuff on that. Uh, but but I, this one is done. It's got, it says fabric and sew and hem and that one's done. This was one I did a while back. This one was done, um, I don't know, eight or so months ago. And this one was done back at Christmas time. And this one is the, with the same cut out coral and the mermaid. Which one? You like that? Which one? I go so fast and then there's kind of a delay. So then when people say I like that, I've gone so fast. I'm past. I'm three paintings beyond that. So, um, yeah, these mermaids are super pretty. The, those are off of the cricket one of the files on the cricket explore or the cricket thing that koi fish um i'm actually probably gonna put that back in my etsy shop uh when i did that live somebody said oh i want that i want to buy that and we emailed back and forth but that was a good seven eight months ago and now um they have they never did go through with it never did purchase it so I think it's up for grabs again I, I don't know but um 
I'm just amazed. My Etsy shop is actually selling. I've sold a few paintings and I just, I literally started crying earlier. I was so like humbled and excited that during this time, right now, people are like buying paintings and supporting artists and supporting small, you know, and stuff. So it just, it makes me feel just, I just can't believe people are buying paintings right now, but they are. And it's just freaking amazing. It's so cool. So yeah, I might go ahead and put that koi back up. Oh, you might go live tonight. Uh, do you where do you have an Etsy, um, Stacy? I've had Etsy for so so long. Um, my Etsy art shop has got uh, just went over a hundred sales. So I was so excited. How boring their walls are. Yeah. I mean, that might be it, but I just, I mean, we're hurting for money so bad that it just shocks me that, you know, people got the money to spend on that. So, I mean, it's exciting. It's awesome. Oh, you're on vacation on two shops. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I just went over a hundred. So I'm super excited. Shop local for sure. Hey, Dawn, how are you doing? Yes, yeah, shop local. How are you doing? I was showing some of the things that I've been doing. These are photo paper that I've painted on. And so um, here's one collage that I've done. But I was showing some of the other um, items. But yeah. It's been, it's amazing because, you know, <laughs> Mike has not been working. So it's been the only income right now. So um, it's been humbling, humbling to see. But um, here's one that I did. A koi. Mermaids. Don there, he has, they have a couple of art pieces of mine. Here, I'm going to show you guys how this one dried. I did this one on a recent video, and this one's all dried and done. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome to see you stop in. Yeah, that's awesome. I do my live streams normally on Tuesdays and Friday mornings, but this morning Mike was dealing with unemployment, so it was kind of a shorter live stream, so I decided to do a later afternoon live stream as well. So I was showing some of the possibilities. You can even take some of these painted papers and like I was showing um, weaving them, weaving them together. So... Oh, yeah, this this turned out. This is on an old vinyl record. Thank you. Thank you, artsy fartsy lover, Stacy. Um, this one turned out and it dried pretty nice. It did shift. I mean, you can tell it's not exactly centered. It did shift a tiny bit, but I kind of like the little bit over that it is. You know, the books for sale? No, I've taken all of my books offline. I do not have my Amazon going anymore. They had raised their fees to where it just was not worth it. But I do have so many books. We have a storage unit full of books. Um, I'm hoping once everything calms down and, you know, Craigslist is a little bit more easier with the virus. Can't really, I'm not one to do any Craigslist or anything. But uh, when everything calms down and the virus is a little safer, I'm get, hoping to just get rid of the whole lot of books one go on Craigslist or something like that. But um, no, I'm not, the books just, um, the fees on like Amazon just were not worth it anymore. But I sold books for six, seven years. So now we still have a storage unit full. So I don't know. But yeah, so that's, um, yeah, I kind of like it. it's not too bad off center. It's just a little, but um, it shifted it in the drying process. But yeah, I've got so many and I'm getting more and more every day listed on Etsy. I like the colors on this one. I need to touch up just a little area doorbell. 
Oh, that's all right. That's all right. Take your time. But yeah, lots of different possibilities. We also did a quirky little owl here a few minutes ago. I've got to glue it down, but I kind of think it needs to be even a lighter colored background to really make it pop up on here. Oh, yeah, I have all the Foxfire books. I have a set of the Foxfire books. They are just the best. But my favorite, like, homesteading, um, gardening, survival books are a series. Let me see what the name is. I can't remember. The... I, I can't get it. I'll have to show you another live stream. But they're a big, huge book. And they just say, like, natural healing and wellness. And then there's one that is uh, survival wisdom, craft wisdom, gardening wisdom. But they're, they're amazing. And they are so full of just so much information. If you could possibly just give me any one of those. I'll show them. those. We have Foxfire books. Foxfire books are so amazing. Have about so much information. But um, these ones here, these ones are absolutely amazing books. If you ever get hold of these ones, there's about seven or eight of them in this series. So this is the natural healing wisdom. But then there's like country wisdom, guarding wisdom. But they let me show you like and this is a big book. This is about 11 by 14. But there is so much information in here. So I, I love the Foxfire books. I absolutely love them. But these books, I mean, all the different stuff that has in them. Absolutely an amazing, amazing resource here. So it says there's over 7,498 charts, lists, tips, instructions. These, if you can ever, ever find these books. Oh, I'm almost, am I get? okay, good. I thought I was getting in the glue stuff with the book. I don't want to get my book in the glue. But these are the best, best books. So much knowledge. But um, yeah, I, I, those are probably my very, very favorite books. And there's a whole series of them, of wisdom, uh, different wisdom. But yeah, definitely old knowings. There's a survival wisdom, country wisdom, gardening wisdom. But uh, those, if you can ever find these books, these are absolutely amazing. But everything you need to know to subsist in the wilderness. Right here in this book. Everything you need to know to subsist in the wilderness. So, yeah, these are absolutely amazing. But um, so I've got lots and lots and lots of books. <laughs> For sure. Way too many books. But, yeah, um. I think that's about all the art we're going to be doing for this live stream. But um, I am hoping to come on sometime this weekend. And then uh, if not, I will be back live on Tuesday morning. And I'm thinking on Tuesday morning, we'll do some painted papers. And then we'll also do some more light switch covers. I need to do some light switch covers. I hope there might be some mass reprinting of those books. I think there's a lot more, um, a huge surge in people wanting to know that sort of information, which is amazing. I think it's awesome that people are wanting to learn how to garden, learn how to just uh, be sustainable and all that good stuff. And I've heard of a lot of people um, just surprised me that they're, you know, getting into all that. But it's awesome. I mean, it is definitely. Definitely the time to be getting into that sort of stuff. It, it's amazing. I wish we could do more here. We just got such a tiny little area. There's not all that much we can do, but we're we're doing what we can. I mean, we can. We go out and forage and we dehydrate and we save stuff that we forage for. And we're container gardening. And I'm going to put in a... Um, 
I'm going to try to put in some um, specifically some bee and butterfly um, attractive plants. I want to bring in some bees and bring in some butterflies. That's what I'm going to have a little area that I'm going to try to really concentrate on bringing, bringing in some of those pollinators and all that important stuff. But I could go on and on about that subject. <laughs> So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys kind of an example of some of the stuff I've been doing with the painted papers, different collage and different weaving and all kinds of stuff. When you don't have to have a Cricut machine, you can cut out fun shapes. Just you saw how quickly I just cut out, you know, just odd little whimsical birds. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I've got books, uh, so many different types of books, but um, I don't know if I really, uh, most of the books you would probably mo be more interested in um, sustainable living and stuff like that. I'm more probably going to keep most of those type of books, those subjects. But yeah, food security is so important right now for sure. But yeah, I mean, if you have like specific types of books, let me know. But um, more of the survival books I probably keep. But I have every subject other than that. So many nonfiction, fiction, I mean, everything. But yeah, I'm, uh, we normally twice a year do a big um, a book sale twice a year where I sell just a ton, but I think that's obviously going to be canceled this year because it would be at the end of May. Yeah, um, I haven't checked for those books on Amazon in quite a while, but check for some of those um, titles that I showed. Check on Amazon. You might be able to find them, uh, but uh, yeah, there there so much wisdom and knowledge in those. They're quite a large book. I mean, it's like eleven by fourteen. They're paperback, and they are. I mean, front back, the whole thing just filled with knowledge. Then maybe we should put the mermaid on the bird. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to make it really quirky with the mermaid on there. But yeah, I want to do some more quirky kind of animals with the collage, but I'll do this again soon. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome, yeah, it's a bird maid. <laughs> uh, Stacy, I'm not sure if you, I know you said you had to go get the door, so I'm not sure if you were here. Were you going to go live tonight? If you are here, let us know what time. I would love to check out your mermaid live and and check out your mermaids but um i'm not sure she may have had to go she said she the doorbell so um but i'll wait a moment before i log off to see if we can hear um stacy is artsy fartsy lover yeah i know alice i don't, don't do they have eyelashes i'm sure they probably don't have eyelashes those were just a little quick eyelashes to kind of show um it's fun to kind of doodle on this and kind of layer up See, I would probably even, it'd be nice to kind of, even just like a white line. Just like layering doodling on there just kind of brings it more and more layers. Yeah, that's what you got to do. Just slowly add to the library. You know, a lot of times it's garage sales. Of course, you know, everything with the viruses. But in the past, I got a lot of my books, garage sales, estate sales, uh, thrift stores, secondhand stores. Uh, that is a great place to find these like hidden gems, uh, mushroom IDing uh, books and things like that. But uh, you just kind of got to have a list in mind and look out for those books. So that's why I wanted to show you an example of those. So you can look for those specific ones I showed. But um, maybe one day I'll do a tour of my bookshelves and explain some of my books. I have so many. And I'll do a tour of my bookshelf. Would you guys be interested in that? See a tour of what books I have and stuff? I've got so many. Uh, fiction, nonfiction, I have five bookshelves <laughs> and that's just here at the house. I have storage too. <laughs> and that's just in the living room. <laughs> I also have in 
the other ones hidden around bookshelves and but yeah that would be cool awesome maybe one day i'll have to do that so um i think stacy must have had to go grab the door she uh but she said she might be on later, artsy fartsy lovers, uh, doing some of her art. Uh, she does a lot of the mixed media and the paint pouring and similar. Um, she's hugely talented as well. And it's always awesome to see, you know, how everybody else is doing their art and stuff. So um, I'm not sure uh, what time or she's going live tonight. She said she might. So hopefully that would be awesome. But I have actually been on here an hour and 10 minutes already. Woo, that flew by. Uh, that's what happens when you're having fun. Got to make sure I close this. Sometimes it doesn't want to close, but I see it out of the corner of my eye open there. But all right. So, guys, um, I'm going to get off of here. But if not this weekend, I'll be live again on Tuesday, but hopefully some point this weekend. But uh, if not, I'll see you on Tuesday and you guys have an awesome weekend and stay home and stay safe and, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching all my videos and coming to all my lives. And you guys are just awesome. And I really appreciate your support and your friendship and all that. I really do <laughs> see on Facebook. Not I'm going to try to figure out how to get onto Facebook. Uh, matter of more relevance, it seems. Yes, it does seem, doesn't it? Way more relevant. Huh? Exactly. I look at my bookshelves and I was like, oh, these are a lot more relevant these days. For sure. I've got a lot of like mini farming and small, um, uh, for uh, small homesteading like books. I'll, I'll show you guys one day. But yeah, much love for sure. So thank you so much for hanging out and sharing the moment with me. Yes, for sure. So you guys have an awesome weekend and I appreciate each and every one of you guys. And stay home, stay safe, and be the change you want to see in the world. That is so relevant right now. Be the change you want to see in the world, guys. All right. Have a good one. Have a good night. Awesome.